Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, affects 5 to 10% of reproductive age women and is considered the most common cause of anovulatory infertility problems. This means that women who are afflicted in this way do not ovulate and thus are unable to get pregnant. This, of course, can be very emotionally devastating for women who wish to conceive. And to make things worse, PCOS is also associated with pregnancy complications such as recurrent pregnancy loss, which means having two or more miscarriages. And PCOS can also be very painful if the cyst bursts and hemorrhage. Now studies show that women with PCOS tend to have a high prevalence of metabolic syndrome, which includes various combinations of being overweight or having high blood pressure or having high blood sugar or glucose intolerance, high triglycerides, decreased blood levels of the good cholesterol, which is the HDL cholesterol, any sort of combination of these things. And other studies show a strong link to type 2 diabetes, an increased risk of blood clots due to a high prevalence of a genetically uh, induced protein C deficiency. So women have this genetic deficiency in protein C which makes their blood sticky. All these factors contribute to infertility as they affect a woman's hormonal function as well as blood viscosity or blood stickiness. Now to help women with PCOS overcome infertility problems, a drug called clomiphene citrate or CC can be used to help induce ovulation. This drug stimulates the pituitary gland in the brain to secrete higher amounts of hormones like FSH and LH which help to induce ovulation. However, the drug is ineffective in up to 40% of women who use it who are trying to get pregnant. But studies beginning in 2010 have shown that taking the natural supplement N-acetylcysteine or NAC along with the drug CC increases both ovulation and pregnancy rates in women with PCOS in cases where the drug CC, clomiphene uh, citrate, was previously ineffective. So how does NAC supplementation help in PCOS? Well, regarding fertility, NAC helps to break up the mucus layer on the cervix, which can be very much an impediment to conception. One of the negative effects of the drug CC is that it thickens the mucus layer on the cervix, preventing penetration of the sperm to get through this barrier. The mucolytic action of NAC helps to break up this mucus, enabling sperm cells to find their way to the uterus and the fallopian tubes so that fertilization can occur. As well, NAC supplementation has a sensitizing effect on insulin receptors, which helps to lower blood glucose or blood sugar and thus lowers insulin secretion. These factors help to improve hormone function, ovulation and fertility, and they reverse metabolic syndrome, lowering blood sugar levels and improving the management of type 2 diabetes if it's present. And NAC supplementation also enhances a woman's antioxidant status, which suppresses free radical damage to the body. Excessive free radical damage has also been implicated in infertility problems in women with PCOS. At these, as these studies have only been around for a short period of time, it's possible that some doctors and specialists have not seen these published clinical trials. Many doctors follow the latest research on drugs, but they're not always exposed to the research involving the use of natural supplements like NAC or N-acetylcysteine as it's known. And by the way, the daily dosage of NAC used in these studies was 1,200 milligrams a day taken once per day along with the drug CC, which is typically used in these cases. If you, if you suffer from PCOS or know someone who does, and NAC supplementation is not part of the treatment plan, then I suggest you bring this research to the attention of your doctor and or pass this info, information along to someone you know who suffers from PCOS who might benefit from it. So I've included the key published studies on this subject in the text below for your reference. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.